Hello, this is Professor Stephen Esheba, and I'm just getting us started with using uh, Spartan through VDesk. So I've set it up here at vdesk.pugetsound.edu, and I'm going to click here on the right-hand side. You might have to enter some uh, login uh, uh, identities uh, when you do this, but um, eventually you'll get to this screen here, and uh, it will take us to a menu and it's Spartan's student up there that we want so I've just double clicked on that and uh, now what will happen normally when you uh, when you come up when you first start Spartan um, there's a few option settings you might want to, to, to allow one of them is this called preferences and under preferences I'm gonna say I want a few icons one of them is this thing called the new build um, another one is uh, that I want to measure distances and another one is I want to edit build and that's what I'm just going to say apply there and the other option is as uh, that I want to actually see those uh, icons so when you save it should uh, when you launch this again it should all show up again so I'm going to go to this new build icon now and uh, it's handy to use this inorganic menu and I just want to click this one line here which means what will happen is that when I select an atom here which I'm going to start with say argon it will default to having one hydrogen on it which I'm going to have to delete but now I've double clicked in that space I've double clicked in that space I have two argon atoms and I want to get rid of the hydrogen so I click right on the tip there click right on the tip there so now I have two uh, argon atoms and um, that's not really actually as big as we think that they are so I'm gonna go to the space filling mode under model that's a little bit closer and uh, what what are the radii well we think that argon I've gone to this Wikipedia page for van der Waals radius and there's argon now these numbers are given in hundreds of angstroms so this says that uh, a single argon atom has a radius of like 1.88 or 1.9 angstroms and uh, so that would be say almost you know almost two angstroms for uh, for those radii now um, are argon atoms attracted to each other well in fact they kind of are and uh, you can find that out by pressing this minimize button which says if you are attracted to each other then go toward that point and uh, well looks like uh, they are they are not attracted to each other at this distance maybe they're too far away so what I'm gonna do is go to this measure distance icon and what I have to do is click on each of these and I'm seeing that the distance is 11 angstroms away maybe if I put them five angstroms away by doing that then uh, now I'm gonna try the minimizer again and say are you attracted and yeah they are and uh, one more thing that we can do with this is uh, I'm gonna go back to this measure distance how far apart are they well they are 3.7 angstroms apart and um, if you remember the radius of uh, of a single argon atom is something like you know almost two angstroms then uh, that means the distance between these centers it makes sense that it would be not quite four angstroms because it's one radius and another radius and uh, so uh, and you can do these with this with other atoms don't forget to select the uh, space filling model sometimes you might want to go to this model icon here and sorry to the edit one and say I'd like to center it that's kind of handy sometimes too and uh, if you want to go to a different uh, atom or even a different molecule you go to new build there um, in this case let's suppose I wanted uh, there's some pre-built ones so there's methane right there and I can double click on this one double click on this one once again go to space filling that's what two methane molecules look like you can still do the same distance measurement in this case I'm just gonna see are they attracted to each other based on this distance and um, perhaps not but um, if I bring them a little bit closer maybe they will be so if I brought them to five angstroms will they be now attracted to each other and indeed they are